Well, I got an email from Pastor Paul Conger talking about a, a pastor's conference in the jungle. Uh, he mentioned um, he would cover my stay, you know, airplane ticket, uh, an offering, and that he would offer me uh, two meals a day. I wrote back saying that if he gave three, that I would meet him there. And that's how we met. Well, I've been involved with FLM for about four or five years now. Uh, I began translating at the pastor's conference. Uh, we would have two preachings in the morning and then one more in the evening, or two, one, more, one in the afternoon, one more in the evening. Um, then got more into uh, the logistics in the background of FLM, um, helping with the foundation, uh, to found the, the foundation officially, uh, licensing of the name, um, buying vehicles for the foundation in the jungle, and things like that, logistics. You know, I would say that if, if I had to summarize the heartbeat of the ministry, it would be empowering people to reach their godly calling. We work with uh, building churches all over the Amazon jungle. Uh, we're getting involved in Terrapoto and Iquitos, and not just the main city, but we're going out rivers days to, to be able to build. Uh, we are also involved covering and uh, blessing the pastors as well as accountability. Uh, we're involved with the Bible Seminary that has a correspondence school that has blessed over 700 students in the last couple of years and it's still growing. We're growing into a, a residency program where they can live on campus, study, live there. Wow, at the pastor's conference we usually have maybe 600, 800, the, the numbers just vary between students and guests. So there are a lot of people that are being touched through the ministry. Uh, also, I would say a form of, of evangelism would have to be the churches that we are helping build because those are bringing uh, new believers in also. You know, I, I feel discipleship is uh, it's mentoring and having a relationship, having an active relationship. So um, with FLM, we don't just uh, train the pastors and send them out, but we have an active relationship with the pastors where we communicate with them, where uh, we have a special fund for medical emergencies. So we're not just leaving them out there, but we are communicating, having an active relationship with them. They have pastoral reports that they send in monthly. So that's what I believe. Well, uh, they can pray, they can donate to the ministry, or they can come along and see it themselves. Well, prayer support, we believe that um, prayer moves the hand of God. And we need people supporting us, uh, not just financially, but also with prayer. Prayer mainly because when we're out there, I mean, you can, you can see the spiritual warfare that is going on in the jungle, you know, and we need the power of God there. We need to declare God's victory. So we, while we're down there, besides the physical fatigue, there's a spiritual fatigue, and we need prayer warriors that have our back. Well, we're building churches. We've built 39 churches all over uh, the Amazon jungle, and we're making our way towards the Andes and towards the coast, so we need support to continue funding and uh, being able to extend the kingdom of God in Peru. You can get involved in several different ways. You can go to the pastor's conference, you can share there, you can help uh, with construction work. You can help love on the children that we have through the Marvel Project. We have orphans that we uh, help support there also. Uh, by loving them, by going there and investing in their lives, you, you're giving them importance. You know, you're giving them uh, the love of Christ. Christ is not just salvation, but he's hope. He's love, he's an opportunity. And people can get involved that way. I feel that I'm just acting in obedience towards God and in the manner in which I act in obedience, I'm being blessed beyond my belief. Uh, never thought I would see some places that I have seen. Never thought I would stay some places that I have stayed, you know. Um, very nice places like the, the Florida Hotel because they were bed bugs, you know. But um, it's part of the ministry and it's part of God's calling and uh, loving on people in the jungle, lo loving on people in Peru. I, that's just my passion. My name is Emmanuel Salcido. Like I said, I'm from Peru. FLM is operating in different areas through the Bible study, uh, through coverage, um, through constructing churches. And we have a residency program that's going to begin soon. So just ask people to be praying for that. The construction of the building should be done by the end of the month-ish. And uh, we're looking to begin in February 2016. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606 or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org.